There you go. Good morning, Debbie Holloway here. So glad to have you on the call today. As you know, we've been talking a lot about this amazing book. And on our last call, we talked about creating a plan. On this call, I think this is really, really simple. It's called the accountability scoreboard. Let's just say it's called your scoreboard. We all have to keep score. In fact, there were some wonderful things in reading that part of the book that I wrote down and I want to share with you. Execution equals feedback. Now think about this. Execution equals feedback. When you execute something, you get feedback on how you did, good or bad. And that feedback is your scoreboard. The feedback that we are getting tells us how we're doing. It tells us if we're succeeding. See, there's leading indicators and lagging indicators in keeping score in your business. A lagging indicator would be results, contracts you got signed, sales made, income. The leading indicator, though, is what really drives your business. The, um, the calls you make the social media posts that you do, how you reach out to people and how often, open houses, door knocking, define it however you will. But the more often you have a leading indicator where you're reaching out for the business, the better your lagging indicator is gonna be, or uh, otherwise said, your income. So it's really easy. You have to decide how you keep score. So I wrote down some ways that we could keep score. I always keep score on the whiteboard behind me. I put up, what are my goals for the month? If you're using this, it should be what are my goals for the week? What do I want to accomplish? How many people am I going to talk to? How many posts am I going to make? What kind of marketing am I going to be doing? How many people am I going to go see? Appointments, all of that. You need to set that up. You need to have something that you have to visually see, not go on to an app in your computer, but visually see on your wall every day so you know how you're doing that week. Pretty simple. Put it up, put it visible if you really want to keep a scoreboard. Why do most of us not keep a scoreboard? I think this is pretty interesting. Why do we not keep a scoreboard? Well, I think it's really simple why we don't keep a scoreboard. We kind of don't want to know how we're doing. Now think about that. Do you, would you prefer not to know how you're doing? See, the problems we have, and I love this part, he talks about the pitfalls in keeping score. Number one is you think that measurement is complicated and unimportant. Everything in life is measured started when you were little and maybe your parents created a growth chart on the wall for you. Everything in life is measured, people. That's just how it is. So if everything's measured, let's work on measuring what's important to you. Maybe you say, I want to lose 10 pounds. I want to lose 10 pounds in 60 days. Well, what are your leading indicators? How often you exercise? Do you do weightlifting, cardio? How many per day? How often per day? If you aren't breaking it down into a scoreboard to keep track, those 10 pounds aren't going to come off in 60 days. Because you can't just, I wish we could put it out there and it would just happen. But it doesn't. You have to keep a scoreboard. That's just how it works. The second pitfall they say in the book, you don't schedule a block of time each week to assess your progress. So at the end of each week, maybe on a Sunday, look back, how did I do on my weight loss journey? How did I do this week on my goals? How did that work for me? What should I change, upgrade, slow down, whatever that is? It's a scoreboard, people. And you know what the third pitfall is? When things don't go well, we quit. Now let's face it, we've all had those moments. Things didn't go well, so we quit. That is the worst type of scoreboard to have. You need to be better to yourself. If it doesn't go like you want, ask yourself, what changes do I need to make? What can I do right now to not quit? Whatever that is, what do I need to do now to not quit? Maybe pick up the phone and call a few people you know really well, maybe. Maybe go exercise. The bottom line is keeping a scoreboard in life matters. It matters in everything we do. Everyone keeps a scoreboard. Everyone counts. 
everything we do, whether it is for exercise, whether it is for business, uh, whatever it is you do in life, there's a scoreboard. Do you think they keep score when you play golf? Do you think they keep score in the NBA? Of course they do. Scoreboard people. So it's real simple. Keep a scoreboard. If you're not sure how, private message me. I'll help you with your scoreboard. But I'd love to see some scoreboards from you gals because keeping score matters for you to be successful. It's one of the five things, and next week we're going to talk accountability. Oh boy, make it a great week.